what was the next assignment that you were working on while 500 Days was coming out, and how did that differ from 500 Days? I assume that you were referring to the Pink Panther 2 movie, which <laughs> came first, actually. So I wrote this, and um, people read it, and again, as I said, everybody really liked it, but nobody bought it, and no one wanted anything to do with it. But as a result of them liking it, I got to go into a little bit higher meetings. So I would go to the bosses of the pe people that I met initially when they read the script. And um, one of them was at, was at uh, Sony, and they said to me, um, you know, having not sold anything in my life, would you be interested in, you know, the only open writing assignment we have is the sequel to the Pink Panther movie? And I said, no, thank you, but not my thing. I don't know why you would think reading 500 Days Summer that that makes any sense. And then I got a call on the way home from my representatives who said, are you fucking crazy? Like, you want to have a career at this. This is supposed to be your job, right? You can't just say no when you haven't sold anything and you want to do it. Like, this is an opportunity. So think of an idea and throw an idea back at them and see if they go for it and get hired for this job. Because you know they don't get paid unless you get paid. So I think everybody wanted to get paid. Uh, and I just said, OK. And Weber and I were like, what? Let's come up with an idea. We came up with an idea. We pitched it to them. They said, done. Go. And we are like, oh, shit. We really have to write this now. <laughs> and um, so we did. And we, we were very proud of our, of our draft. It actually was like, we wrote, wrote it in 20 days. I wrote most of it in Sweden. We were in Sweden then. And, um, we, uh, I, it's funny. It was like very subversive and not at all what ended up being the movie. Because a lot of times what happens is you'll write in your draft, and then you are dealing with people way above your pay grade, like actors. Um, and they have their stable of people they've worked with for a really long time. And they don't want to do a subversive version. They want to do a family version. And things get changed around. And you go see the movie, and you don't recognize anything. <laughs> um, but you get uh, credit on the movie. So everyone thinks that you wrote it. So I, my mom was like, that one joke was great. I'm like, I have nothing to do with that joke, mom. <laughs> you don't have to pretend like you like the movie. Um, and, uh, but it's really amazing, because when they make a movie with your name on it, that o does, in fact, open some doors. Even a movie that, it, that, that doesn't set the world on fire, uh, getting a movie made is the hardest thing. You know, like, they don't happen very often, believe it or not. Because I'm sure you go to see them on the weekend and go, really? This one? But um, it's a really weird alchemy that happens. And, uh, they made it, which was amazing. And I think as a result of them making that, it freed up, it made us look a little bit more legit for when they did finally come around to making 500. So believe it or not, I think one might have subsequently influenced the other somehow. <laughs>